All right. And so uh, the final one for our metaphysics is talking about the Trinity. Uh, the Trinity is a important aspect of who God so is. So he saves the best for the last, right? <laughs> <laughs> yes. The, and, and the easiest, the, the one that is uh, very easily understandable <laughs> and uh, has, has, has no issues uh, within the past 2,000 years of, of church history. Either. So. <laughs> All right. So the Christian God is three in one. He is Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And there is only one God. And uh, but the Father is God, the Son is God, and the Holy Spirit is God. But those uh, Father, Son, and Spirit aren't themselves uh, those uh, the the Father or the Son or the Spirit. Uh, somehow they are three, and somehow they are one. The Nicene Creed says that they are one being, but three substances, or differently translated, one substance and three persons. And he says that he prefers to s simply say one God, three persons. The technical terms should not be uh, understood in any precise uh, descriptive sense. The fact is that we do not know precisely uh, how the three are one and the one are three. We do know that since the three are God, they are equal, uh, for there is no superiority or inferior inferiority within God. Yeah, right. And so since God is both three and one, you know, he can uh, be described in personalistic terms. And so we're right back to the you know, the personalistic here. So God can be described in personalistic terms without being made relative to the world or even dependent on it. For instance, when we say God is love, 1 John 4, 8, we might ask, well, love of what? And he says, well, if we immediately answer love of the world, right, then we have a problem. Mm -hmm. uh, for on that account, the divine attribute of love, notice, depends on the existence of the world and therefore for God to be love uh he the world has to be there and so God is dependent on the existence of the world if he is love and to say that God's attribute depends on the world is to say that God himself then obviously is dependent on the world but notice if he is not a uh, you know merely one you know he is three then his love is initially the love of the Father, the Son, and the Spirit for one another. And John 17 talks about that. Mm -hmm. His love, therefore, like his being, is self-existence and self-sufficient, and he's not dependent on his creation for anything. Right? So love existed throughout all eternity within the triune God, and he didn't have to create a world in order to express love because he is love, and love has always been a part of who God is, if indeed God is triune, which the scripture says he is. Mm -hmm. And again, uh, I know I've mentioned on the show here before is uh, this is a, a, a great question asked um, um, your Muslim friend of, well, you know, is Allah, does he love? And so, yes, he loves. And so, okay, so when did he learn love? Well, he, he can't learn or he isn't, he isn't God. But in the... Uh, before the existence of the universe, uh, there's a lot. What of, did he love? He, he he's just there, and so he has to then create. Allah has to create in order to love something, because there's nothing other than Allah. So he, he can't self love. Love is a relationship aspect, and so it's a it's a uh, um, a sticky wicket, if you will, uh, for <laughs> for the Muslims. And so uh, it's a good um, avenue to kind of uh, uh, go down there. Um, and th there's a lot more that can be said here. Uh, we, we've talked a, a little bit about um, uh, kind of uh, the one in the many type deal uh, that we've covered in, in other ones. Uh, obviously, we're not covering everything that is in Frame's book, but, uh, but uh, uh, of course, the links are in the description for uh, where to, to pick up his, um, his books, including his, uh, the, the newest uh, version, which is uh, 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 the second edition on, on Audible as well.